I was waiting for this lady to finish with her call. This lady was on, and it was even a black lady. I don't know if she's from Ghana or Nigeria. Brah, the backside of that, brah, you. That maraujo, that, that nyash. I was waiting for this lady to finish. So I, let me just say, hello, are you from Ghana? Oh, nice body. <laughs> can we have numbers? You just say no after I say, can we have numbers? This lady was on the call the whole time until her bus came. I'm sure you guys do hear a lot of people say that, hey, Canada is a boring country. Love life here can be a problem. And I'm not here to say no. Yes, I'm not here to say no. Look, Canada can be very heartbreaking, honestly. So if you are someone that got the intention that, okay, my dream is to come into the country, find the ladies, eat as much as possible and be full in any way, honestly, it is not that easy, okay? Me, for instance, I've been single the rest of, like not even the rest, because if I say rest, it's like I'll never find anyone again. So I've been single the whole of my life. I don't know if that even makes sense. But anyway, I've been single for long. Like I've been single, single. I've been single that myself, I can feel I'm single. Even the single in me is starting to feel single. It's very crazy. So I was like, okay, fine. Let me not bother someone's daughter. Let me just get into the country. God will make a way. I'll find one beautiful white lady Canadian with nyash. <laughs> you know, you hardly get those. But I mean, assumptions, yeah. And it's just crazy because the perception and the assumptions that we do get from home, it's not always the same thing that we get when we step here. Dating in Canada can be a nightmare i mean you can't even find the person so how do you even intend on dating that is the whole point you don't get anyone you don't get anyone okay unlike south africa for south africa i can't even use that as an example because everywhere you go in sc i mean there's meat but you can just find in the club in church home outside wherever they are there and you don't even need to talk too much Hello, sister. Hey, how you are nice. Hey, I love your nyash. Hey, Tora 30 bucks, buy cool drink and stuff. Already you are you are halfway there. Ghana, you also don't need to do, even though Ghana is a bit tough, but you don't need to put much effort. If the person likes you, Ghana, I know their weak point is car. As long as Nali Kolo will shop. If you have a car, yeah, you are you are close, you are close by. So all those things are minor in Ghana. Even without a car, you can still make it. It all depends on the, the level and the class you are going for. So I'm like, okay, I. It's the same thing everywhere. Let's come to Canada and make a living. Bros, if that is the same mentality or perception you are having, it's best you remove it. Because here, it's like everybody is a zombie. Let me put it that way. It's like everybody is a zombie. Here, everybody is just... Like, even on the road, like, bro... You'll be walking, going to catch a bus. you see a fine lady in a bus. How to even approach the lady is a problem because now you have 90 other white people next to you. How do you even go, hello, sister, how are you? You are even scared. What if she says no? <laughs> Imagine all these people here. How will you feel? So in the bus, it's even a no-go zone. Even, even in the bus, they don't even smile. Mm? In as much as I would say that racism is a bit... Uh, on the lower side it's still here it's still here even in the bus when you are sitting and the bus space are full mm? and the bus space are full a white person will stand a lady a lady even a, a man white the person who hold that thing standing in the bus instead of coming to sit next to you the person would rather stand i don't know if maybe they think if they come and sit next to you they might change color or i don't know they won't come I don't know why that is the case, but it happens. So here, the story this side is, it's like, yeah, we, we have our own planet. We have our own rules, and I don't know what is happening here. I mean, come on, let's be real, man. It's 2023, bro. We're going to 2024. Why do we still have to be experiencing all this? And I'm not saying, I mean, everybody is like that. I mean, we all differ. We all have different perceptions, assumptions. We come from different cultures and all that. But it's different. We, we are not the same. I'm not saying everyone is like that. This side, I've met a couple of few chicks who are like that friendly and 
comfortable with blacks but i mean most of the time it's a problem it is a big problem even on the roadside you would think okay fine since the bus is not working let me just take a walk you will see a white person coming close to you hmm? even hello you can't even say hello bro that hello she will not hear it that hello you'll be speaking to yourself they all got headphones they even if she's not listening to anything in that headphone it's on it is on i don't know why that is the case so now i understand why a lot of men find it tough i understand why because charlie the struggle is real it's like it's it's real last time i met one chick at the bus station hmm? i was going to get a bus bro i was waiting for this lady to finish with the call this lady was on and it was even a black lady i don't know if she's from ghana or nigeria bro the backside of that bro you that maraujo that that nyash i was waiting for this lady to finish so I, let me just say hello are you from ghana oh nice body <laughs> can we have numbers you just say no after i say can we have number this lady was on the call the whole time until her bus came and now it's another bus i cannot use that bus me i'm waiting for another bus what if i jump on that bus and it take me to toronto me i'm in alberta hmm? just because of nyash you get there she said i have a boyfriend just imagine so here dating life it's something else if you don't have the heart the kidney and the lungs please <laughs> change gender here it's like the struggle is tough it's tough i don't, I don't want to laugh see me to be real i've even gone to the stand of going to strip clubs to see if i can find someone bra nothing nothing the least mistake I even did, the club I went to, it was even white clubs. Now these strippers are busy showing me nyash, trumu, showing me different skills. And then you are not allowed to touch. You will see, pa, you can't touch. All type of styles. <laughs> you know, that pool. They will climb and turn around and no, oh, nothing. And yeah, nothing. <laughs> so it's very tough. And you'll be like, okay, so how do you even intend on getting a woman? How do you, if you want to settle her? Bro, here, <laughs> lotion is your best friend. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you understand, that's your problem. <laughs> but I mean, there is dating platforms. There is dating platform if you get here. Like um, this guy on uh, TikTok, Carlos. He hosts, I mean, this matching stuff. Even though Canadians are not that much on that platform because of the time difference. I think in Ghana, we're leading you guys like about eight hours. And I'm not sure. I think Ghana is six hours. South Africa is eight hours. So, yeah. So, there are different ways. You can also download Tinder, which these days it's very tough to go on that platform. You, you always They're always asking for money. So, you need to put in some cash and all that, $10 and all that. So it's it's it becomes very difficult. It becomes very difficult. I mean, if you are someone who, unlike in Africa, we we do get things easier when it comes to the dating. So upper Africa, I do know friends who are having five, six ladies, bra, mm? and all of them are understandable. <laughs> you understand? I'm the second one. I'm the third one. I'm yeah. You can't even get one like one. You may think, okay, maybe that is because you want a white lady, even blacks. But I think the most easiest way to get them is probably in a school. I don't know how it is. I don't know the experience because I've never enrolled in a school. But I think, because even in SA, I mean, I, I had a lot of friends from school. So if you are in school, if you are enrolled in school, you might end up making a couple of friends and they will lead you through and all that. So I think in school... There might be a bit of advantages here and there. But if you are thinking pass, you get one in a bus, in a supermarket. Mm -mm. Those guys, they don't even give face. No wonder headphones are expensive here. Because everybody's having one. If it's not there for it, uh, ear, what, what. Their ears are always occupied. They don't want to hear the outside world. Sometimes a lady will be approaching me. Me, I will say, hello. Hi. You are pretty. <laughs> nice body. She will not even hear a word. She will just pass you shoe. <laughs> yeah, blow. The struggle here, it's tough. 
So when ladies are here yeah, saying, hey, Ghanaian men, Nigerian men, they need white people, it's not like that. You guys are always busy. You don't even see when we are complimenting. Only few. That is even when they tend to 60, 70, they will be like, okay, now let me pay attention to the road. <laughs> but the struggle here, it's real. I don't know what type of experiences you guys have had, but I mean, you can always share it in the comment section. Let's debate. Let's have some um, thoughts here. I know it's not only Canada. I'm probably sure even in the UK. But I heard UK, they are giving myself for hopper. But anyway, let me know your experience. I mean, regardless of your country where you are, let me know what is happening that side. Because here, it's tough. So at this point of time, I'm in a market. Please, if you are in Alberta and you know you are fine, you got nyash white black maroon black purple pink reach out to me me i don't discriminate whether you are violet come <laughs> maroon come <laughs> asian come caucasian come <laughs> so guys um it's all fun man it's all fun and jokes thanks for coming guys um if you have any questions i don't even know if you guys will ask me questions i was just talking shit <laughs> but anyway thanks for coming subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one stay safe peace